Hey there, this is Terry with Collabo Creative, a local service design company uh, here in Indianapolis. And we are still, again, working from home, doing our, our part to keep everyone safe by just staying inside. And hopefully you all are doing the same as well. So we're here again, it's another Wednesday. We're here to give you more tips and tricks to improve creativity and collaboration in your business and life. And right now in your home life. So we have brought back again, we, we talked about we're doing this series on how you can stay, I would say sane and productive and happy and healthy during your stay at home experience. We have Jen again, our fantastic life and leadership coach coming at us from her house to help us and share with us on um, her second focus area of how we can stay healthy and happy at home, which is gratitude. So. We'd love to hear some of some simple practices of what we can do to bring gratitude into our home life and to our home work life and how that can help us with uh, keeping more creative and collaborative. So what do you got for us, Jen? Terry, first of all, it was a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on and, and being a part of your community. You have such a wonderful community and today we're going to talk about gratitude. Gratitude is such an important piece of your mental and emotional self-care. And we talked about self-care last week. So if you missed that video, you can go back and check it out. And today it's, it's about what am I grateful for? How can I find gratitude in where I am today? Mm -hmm. And part of that is I am grateful for being at home and, and having the ability to, to have that choice and still work from home. You know, what a beautiful thing. There are some people who are out there who who, um, who are off work mm -hmm. and they're not getting paid for it. So yeah. and it, it, it's finding gratitude in what you do have. I do have a home. I do have my family around me. I do have uh, the ability to stay out of the, the rush hour traffic mm -hmm. and creating a gratitude list. You know, so I invite you all to to create a gratitude list the minute you wake up in the morning and think of at least three things you're grateful for. And maybe that was a good night's rest, right? Mm -hmm. um, so creating a gratitude journal, you can, at the end of the day, you can write out all of the things that you were grateful for for that day. Reaching out and sharing uh, gratitude to a friend and saying mm -hmm. thank you for being there for me. Thank you for taking in my garbage can. Thank you for <laughs> going out and walking your dog with a smile today. <laughs> As we are all home with our family, appreciating your family each and every day, specifically mm -hmm. choosing something that they have done well, that you appreciate. Maybe they made their bed this morning. Um, maybe they took out the garbage. Maybe they, they, they brought you your tangerine and peeled it for you <laughs> that has happened that has happened <laughs> and here's another thing that you can do is write a note of gratitude and send it through the mail you know so we're not able to necessarily connect with people in person right now but receiving a good old-fashioned letter mm -hmm. so you can write up a, a, a letter and send it through the mail Keep our post office working. <laughs> so those are my, my gratitude ideas for you today. Mm -hmm. um, sending out a, a, you know, reaching out to a friend, doing a journal, creating three things you're grateful for every morning when you wake up, putting post-its around your, your house to remind you to be grateful, sending a note, a good old fashioned written note, and you know, appreciating those who are around you today. That's fantastic. I love those ideas because it is one of those things, right? When, when things feel so challenging and everyone I think is feeling challenged at this time that a lot of times it's easy to forget all the things that we are blessed with, all the things that we do have. And it's easy to focus on the things that are missing, especially when so much has changed in such a short period of time. So those are fantastic tips. I love the idea of just writing a letter. One, it keeps our economy going, it keeps our postal workers working, and you're able to then also, you know, show someone else that you're thinking about them and caring about them. Fantastic, I love it. 
And, and now we can actually just make our own cards at home because we have time to have our kiddos make some little greeting cards. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you all out there are going to take some of these tips and apply these. Go and either find your stationery that you've had at home that's been sitting there collecting dust and write a letter to one of your friends or a few of your friends or um, grab some post-its. We've got tons of post-its all around the place, all around our house. So grab some post-its, stick them up around the house and use it as that uh, way of keeping in mind, keeping that in that gratitude headspace. That's fantastic. Thanks again. Thanks again for joining us, Jen. It's, it's always great to have you. You have such great, uh, you have a great perspective and attitude on how we can make the best out of everything. And so we love being able to share your energy with everyone out there and everyone who's watching us. And we hope you all who are watching are able to take this and apply it and, and um, find a little more gratitude in your life this week, today, starting today and for the rest of the weeks that you're at home. <laughs> So that's all we've got for you for this week. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you like this video, if you like the tips that we're offering, please show us some love and give us some thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and uh, we will see you next week. Bye. Do you have any questions or topics you'd like us to tackle? Shoot over an email to hello at collabocreative.com.